Okay, in this video I will show you how context matches work in SDL Trader Studio 2011. I will be translating these two sample documents here. I have a short presentation video about them and I will include a link in the description field below. So let's switch to Studio and in Studio I will create a new project. I will call it Google ENFR. Next. I will use uh, English US as the source language and uh, French as target. Next. Now I will add the first document I want to translate. It's this one. Next. I will create a new file based translation memory. I will also call it Google ENFR. Next. Next. Finish. And close. Next. I won't be using any term base, so I click on next. And now I have uh, this task sequence, prepare without project TM. That's, that's what I will be using. So next and uh, next, finish. Now all tasks have been completed. I can close this and I can move to files. And I have here my SDL XLIF which is the document I want to translate. So let's open it for translation. And I will translate it quickly. And now I have translated the all nine segments in the document. I have confirmed them and sent them to the TM. So I can close this document. And now I will select English my source language, I will add the second document via add files. So it's this one. And I will prepare it via these batch tasks, prepare without uh, project TM. And next. And here I'll go to pre-translate files for this uh, language pair, English French. And uh, I can choose for instance to lock context matches and uh, maybe I don't want to confirm ordinary 100% matches so I can untick this. Now I can click on finish and uh, now the tasks have been completed. I can close them and I can open the second document for translation. And now I can see that I have a number of uh, segments for which I have uh, CM in the status. So this means uh, context match. Uh, the difference with other tools is that uh, here we have uh, six segments that were considered as context match. So that's segments uh, number one, two, three, six, seven, and nine. And in other tools like Hardsum or MemoQ, we only had four segments. So in Hardsum, they are displayed here. And uh, these were segments uh, 1, 2, 6, and 9. And if we go to MemoQ, we can see that uh, it's the same situation, 1, 2, 6, and 9. The reason why we have many more context matches in Studio is that Studio considers uh, only the preceding segment uh, for evaluating context matches, whereas uh, MemoQ, Hardsum, and Deja Vu consider not only the preceding segment, but also the following segments, so both surrounding segments. Now, Studio has uh, another way to leverage uh, context matches. Instead of using the TM, it can use the previous version of the document that were translated and the name of this uh, feature is perfect match but it is only available in the professional edition. I will probably make a video about uh, perfect matches in studio professional edition as well as in uh, MemoQ in which the same feature exists and is called uh, xtranslate. So there you have it context matches in Studio 2011. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.